amazing. Amazing. Best if experience. I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for a better birthday. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Naomi and this is A Real Naomi B, where we talk about lifestyle, fashion, beauty, and travel. It's a high probability that you came across this video because you are looking for information on your next visit to El Salvador. Say hi. Cheers, bye, -bye. Cheers. Happy birthday. We recently traveled to El Salvador for my birthday this past June and around that time the, the airfares were about 4 to 4.25 across the board for typical airlines that go to El Salvador. Now you're talking about your American Airline, your Delta, your JetBlue and of course Copa. Copa is actually the main airline that runs through Latin America so you're going to find your cheaper flights on Copa but when we did check the other airlines it was just about the same give or take a few dollars. We got to the airport in El Salvador. We had to pay an entry fee and that was about $12 I believe per person. Customs or passport control, I'm not sure which it is. But yes, you're gonna need some cash. Now they do have card machines but based on what i was told what we were told while we were there the machines are a little bit iffy so i recommend that you have some cash on hand moving right along and how we commuted from the airport to our accommodations now uber does work in el salvador and i was really surprised by that and it, and it was actually much cheaper than the US. We decided to go with a private shuttle because we got into El Salvador around 10 p.m. that night and we weren't certain about what it would be like to travel in a, in a new country at night. We didn't feel quite confident about that. We stayed at an Airbnb and our Airbnb host provides transport from the airport to our Airbnb. That was in total $70 for both of us. Price as much as it would cost you for an Uber in El Salvador. So if you are comfortable with taking an Uber once you get to El Salvador, it's gonna be super easy. Where did we stay? And so this is typically what most people are looking for ideas on where to actually book their stay. So for this birthday trip, I wanted something very low key, away from any city or all that excitement. I just really want to rest and relax and sip cocktails poolside by the beach I wanted to be as close to the water as possible we were lucky enough to find an Airbnb in the area of El Sanzal El Sanzal is kind of like a beach town we stayed at the Casa Maya Beach Club and it was absolutely beautiful very low-key giving very tropical seaside see the ocean from our room they had a pool so it was very nice they had beach beds and kamadas that you could actually lay lay out at and within that area all the properties lining up from left to right of Casamaya was either a restaurant or a guest house Gracias. beauty about that particular location you can literally walk the beach and go over to the other properties and you they welcome you you can use the facilities there the restaurants there of course you have to pay wow. but it just gives you so many options of different places to eat different places to experience just a different vibe if you want to leave your guest house and go next door it is not a problem it was just such a perfect location we're on the topic of food might as well dive right in and talk about all the really good things that we ate on this trip now we're talking about fresh seafood fresh fruits and vegetables everything kind of homegrown grass 
fed type vibe it was such an amazing experience and that is something that we indulge in every time we leave the country I have to really take advantage of the fresh produce So the fish one. Fish one. I thought I could finish it, but it's a big ass fish. Let's see the the, the, the no, measurement normally, size. Normally, it's about the same size as your arm, right? Yeah. Wow. Normally this is a cleaner, but this is really. Was it good? Yeah, it was. Neat. Right. And it was only what? Like Twenty dollars. Eighteen dollars. Yeah. Where can you get those prices yeah. at? Right. Wow. Yeah. And it came, we didn't even eat everything. It came with veggies and rice and I'm not sure what that is, but it's kind of like a yucca bread or something. Yeah. It's Fried delicious, delicious. However, we're so full because we had KFC not too long ago. <laughs> Why are we here? We're just here because we're trying to soak it all up before we leave. If you're El Salvadorian or you've been to El Salvador before, you know of the a meal called pupusa. It's kind of like a stuffed, I'd say it's like a stuffed tortilla and you can stuff it with cheese and pollo which is chicken late one night after our excursion we came back home and we were super tired we took a nap and by the time we woke up all the restaurants were closed so we ventured out steps away from where airbnb was this little lady she was business where she sells like other produce but she makes pupusas fresh on the grill for you so nice so sweet she actually had me make my own pupusa with her so i felt like she was including me in her culture it was just so beautiful oh, i will never forget it so if you do go to, if you do go to el salvador no matter where all the pupusas are good i recommend that you try it I'm telling you, those pupusas hit so hard. I'm telling you, it's so cheap in El Salvador. I remember we stopped at a local vendor. We bought an, a whole pineapple, a whole papaya, two mangoes. We paid about $9 for two bags of just fruit. Nothing better than this. This category on the list is activities and excursions. We did not do much on this trip because as stated before, we wanted it to be super low key and chilled. We had to make time to visit Cafe Albania. I'm sure if you have done any, even the slightest research on El Salvador, you will hear about Cafe Alban. You, you can find the infamous rainbow slides. He's picking it up. He's giving it to us. Okay, uh, how was that? This one was better. The other one had me. It's a little bit more little, scary. Yeah. The little, slope was a little bit deeper. Yeah, too. it's a higher. So, slope. question do we have to walk up? I think that's what they're telling us, babes. Yeah, it's clearly out of shape. Clearly, needs to get back in the gym. This is unacceptable. So many activities just on one property all the activities are no more than 10 to 15 dollars i believe the, the rainbow swing was about a dollar i note if you are a coffee lover i recommend that you try the cafe latte that they serve at cafe albania 
honestly, we thoroughly enjoyed that latte. You're able to actually enjoy your coffee while you overlook the entire park. It is beautiful. We visited El Carmen Coffee Plantation. We did a coffee plantation tour and a horseback ride. The coffee plantation tour was $7 and the ride was $6. If you're into coffee, you are definitely going to enjoy the tour. It gives you a full breakdown from start to finish, features and steps and how they get their coffee from, from the tree to either the bean or the ground that you use in your home. Did you know that El Salvador, El Carmen, and El Salvador provides a large percentage of the coffee that you consume at Starbucks? Did you know that? I did not know that and they had a coffee tasting which was honestly one of the most exciting parts for me. It was just a very interactive experience and I had a blast walking around. Also a very beautiful place to take photos. We ended up taking so much photos. The entire property was just so well kept. Beautiful, the staff was amazing. And then we went over to our horseback ride. Honestly, the horse that I was on, I think he was tired. He didn't want to be there. At the time I was on the horse, I was kind of scared I'm not gonna lie but for six dollars I think it's worth it most places that you go to in the US are gonna get a horseback ride for half an hour for six dollars it's that's just unheard of so the fact that it was so cheap I figured you know what give it a try Girl at it again with the KFC. trip to El Salvador I'll say it is definitely cost-effective your mo your money can stretch in El Salvador depending on what you're looking for and the type of budget that you have the local people are super friendly very accommodating a gay couple we not there was never a point in time where we felt unsafe or anyone said anything that was offensive to us I'm sure everyone knew that we were together um, we saw other gay couples on the beach have, enjoying themselves having a great time so it's super safe Everywhere where we stayed in El Salvador was one of the safest places in El Salvador I definitely felt like it we were able to leave our hotel leave our Airbnb at 10 11 o'clock at night and walk out into the streets and we felt completely safe so our Airbnb was very beautiful and our stay was really really good all of the fresh produce that your heart can desire will be at your fingertips so yes if you are looking for your next vacation something budget friendly for you and your significant other or for your family I do believe that El Salvador will tick a lot of your boxes in total just a, a guesstimate a, a guesstimation of how much we spent per person I think we spent around $700 per person it includes flights accommodation food excursions and activities 
all the little things that I talked about or beachfront accommodation for the entire trip was just under $400 and you cannot beat that. Just about wraps up this entire trip. I really hope you enjoy this video. Go ahead, go ahead and comment all your questions down below and I'll be there to answer any questions you may have. This is a new style of content and I really hope that you enjoyed it. I comment and subscribe and share this to someone else who you feel like is possibly looking on booking their next trip to El Salvador. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you do not miss whenever it is that I post a video. And until next time, love you, bye. Oh, oh, oh.